today we're going to go explore Montgomery, Alabama. Not sure what all we're going to get into. We're going to go see the Hank Williams Senior Museum. Uh, and we were told that we're not allowed to video in there. So we won't be able to share any of that with you. But we're also going to visit his grave and we should be able to show that. We just came out of the Hank Williams Senior Museum and it was really cool. Very cool. But I'm kind of a classic country geek. So I was like geeking out in there. <laughs> um, we were correct. They wouldn't let us video back in the museum part, but they would let us film up in the gift shop area. So there was still some really cool stuff to see up there. Mm -hmm. So I got to film some of that and um, man, it was just so much cool stuff back there. Some of his old outfits that he wore on stage, his boots, his hats, his uh, uh, what was really cool was a lot of the stuff like had signs that says you know on loan from, from Hank yeah. Jr. Yeah. So a lot of it's owned by Hank Jr. which is really cool. Um, I don't even know what my favorite part was. It was all really cool. What did you like the most? His car was cool. That Cadillac was beautiful. It was awesome. It was in excellent condition looks like almost brand new which was yeah. crazy that that's the car that he was Definitely. found dead in and you could just be right there you know right where, where he died eventually and had to see stuff from his from his all his family mm -hmm. and a bunch of hank jr stuff in there uh, which is really cool mm -hmm. lauren doesn't really know that much about hank williams but she doesn't know yeah <laughs> <laughs> Did you think it was cool? Huh? Huh? Yeah. Wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Did you think it was cool? Yeah. <laughs> what did you like the most? Well, she stole my answer. But Sorry. other than that, I like seeing the picture of his house where he had the fences with the music notes on it. Yeah. And his door had a treble club on it. His piano was cool that he grew up with. Yeah, yeah there was stuff from his old house. There was furniture, you know, from, from his old house and where he lived. And man, if you, it's not a huge place. Mm -mm. It's not big. It doesn't take long to walk through. It's ten dollars a person if you're military. Uh, there was two dollars off, so we got in for eight dollars each. Um, and it took us probably about 45, 45 minutes to go Depends through. How long you want to stay? Yeah, I mean, we were kind of looking and reading and, and stuff like that. There's way more to read if you want to read everything. It'll mm -hmm. probably take you about an hour, hour and a half. But I mean, for me, worth the eight bucks <laughs> all day, twice on Sunday, just because I'm a <laughs> old country music geek and I love that stuff uh, it was really just really cool uh, so when we found out that this was in Montgomery we had to come see it and um, now we're headed to see the graves Well, this is the gravesite of Hank Williams Sr. and uh, his wife, Audrey Williams, which is uh, pretty cool. The reason that they put AstroTurf down is because fans would come and pluck the grass and, and try to keep the, some of the grass or some of the dirt as a souvenir, and um, grass wouldn't grow. 
So they put down this AstroTurf and um, tried to alleviate that problem. Well, what really got me into Hank Williams was my dad because he used to use Hank Williams to get under my mom's skin. He would start singing the song, There's a Tear in My Beer, and then all of us kids would join in, and my mom used to hate it. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, I think she secretly liked that we were, uh, you know, just having a good time as, as the boys and, uh, and just antagonizing her, and it was a good time. We'd be in the car just singing, um, There's a Tear in My Beer anytime it would come on the radio and we'd sing it as loud and as proud as we could and um, so that's kind of where my um, love of Hank Williams began and um, listen to his music from then on so thanks dad <laughs> and uh, anytime we're around mom we still do it so it's still fun uh, so anytime you hear it on the radio um, that's uh, that's what we do Leslie is eerily fascinated by cemeteries Every time we come to a cemetery, she just walks around and starts looking at people's graves and things. Uh, but it is fascinating to see when people were born, when they died, you know, and kind of just wonder what, what happened and what their life story was like. And, uh, you know, everybody has a story. So it's interesting to, to come to cemeteries sometimes and just check out some of the grave sites and things like that. Yeah. If you the one next to you, it's mm -hmm. a French Air Force. That whole in case thing. Oh yeah. Yeah, and there's a lot. I see World War One and Two on a lot of them. If you look, there's a 